tightness is primarily focusing on the elimination of all unintended gaps and cracks on the external envelope of the building. Whereas air leakage is where leaks occur due to gaps and cracks which shouldn't be there in the first place on the external envelope. Ventilation is a very important consideration in buildings with very high levels of air tightness or any building for that matter. So the key is to build buildings as airtightly and gap free as possible but to introduce a designed and controlled ventilation system to ensure that adequate air is being supplied to meet the needs of the occupants of the building. Insulation itself requires a high level of air tightness to actually perform because the insulation in the building is very similar to a woolly jumper you wear when you're doing hill walking. If you wear a single layer then the wind blows through the woolly jumper quite easily but if you apply a light windshield over that, even though it's so thin, it has a dramatic impact as it reduces air movement through the jumper and now it actually insulates better. So for insulation in a building to perform to its maximum potential, it needs to be protected against air movement on both sides, both on the outside against wind and on the inside against the hot air penetrating through it, causing convection or air movement within the insulation. So air tightness is a precursor for healthier buildings, improved building durability, reducing builder callbacks, because really air tightness is all about build quality and workmanship on site. It's also a key component in reducing overheating in summer and better insulation in winter. Music